Hi, my lovely, amazing, beautiful people. How y'all doing today? So listen, this your girl. Thanks so much for rocking in, tuning in. <clears throat> this is called pop-up message. This is a surprise message. I don't know what the message is going to be. You don't know what the message is going to be. We shall find out from Holy Spirit what he wants to say to his children today. So listen, let's just start off with what we know. We know that it's 2023. It is 2023. It's a whole new year, and and you know what? A lot of us have New Year's uh, resolutions. A lot of us, uh, we've did some vision boards, and we've been writing, and we've been affirming, and we've been doing good with our schedules, and um, the the goals we're knocking them down. And some of us been in a gym. That was our that was our thing. January first, we get in a gym. We not gonna stop. We gonna keep on pushing. We gonna keep on pushing. But I just wanna be. I wanna remind somebody that, in all you're doing, and and everything that you was. Um, ascribe to do make sure that you are doing it unto god because if it is not unto the lord it is in vain if it is if you're doing it out of your own strength for your own purposes for your own plans for your own everything you're doing it in vain for the bible says that many are the plans of a person's heart but only the lord's plans will prevail don't find yourself in a cycle of wasting time because of your agenda but i encourage you to get into your secret place i encourage you to beseech the presence of god in your life as you begin to write these things down as you begin to plan and set goals for your life i encourage you to find out what it is that god would have you to do speak holy spirit god says as you are writing things down and planning for your future he says, be sure to be sure to make room and, and plan for salvation. He said, be be sure to encourage to to um, cultivate a relationship with him. He said, make sure that you have repentance on your vision board. He said, make sure that you have a, a space for him to give you a new heart, to give you new desire, to give you a new mind. He said, he said, be sure to put into to put into your schedule um how how your life is not your own hallelujah i'm reminded in the bible when jesus was looking when he was going to pick his disciples i'm reminded how many of them had careers many of them they had families and they were going about their everyday life and then jesus came around and they began to follow jesus and the, the jobs didn't matter anymore the careers didn't matter anymore jesus even told some of them you have to leave your brothers and sisters behind and he even remember i'm reminded in the bible where he says that foxes has have dens that they live in and, and if you are following me if you need to keep looking forward you need to keep looking ahead he said because if you look back then you are not fit to walk with me you are not fit to follow me so i just want to encourage you that whatever you are doing don't do it 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 if you have not sought the lord for your for your plan for his plans and for his purpose for your life hallelujah because if we don't seek the Lord, we'll waste time and in our wasting time when it when the time is up, when the grace period is up from us wasting time being disobedient. How many know that you will go, you can go into a whirlwind of depression because what God will start doing, he'll start reeling you back, reeling you back and reeling you back and reeling you in. And you're like, Lord, why this? Why this trial? Why this tribulation? Why this setback? And I hear the Lord saying, because I had to come and bring you back because you went forward without my permission. You went forward without great gaining a full understanding. I'm reminded of the of the of the scripture and of the song. I will hasten to your throne. Many of you have made plans. Many of you have a list of goals, but you have not hastened to the throne. You have not hastened to the throne. You have not paused and diligently sought God for your future. You have not diligently. You have not pursued aggressively what it is that you would have me to do, God. Because how many know? Yo, you may have some good things on your vision board. 
You may have some good projects and some good plans, but how many know that everything good is not God? So I encourage you that while you're writing all that good stuff down, take into consideration that it may be good, but it might not be God. And so Lord, whatever it is that you want me to do, however you want to use me, however you would have me to be seated, wherever you would like to have me positioned, hallelujah, I am open and I am available to you. That's what you need to have on your vision board. I see in big letters the word available. Make sure you put that on the top of your to-do list. Available for I am available to you, God. So as 2023 progresses and as it advances, I pray that your soul advances. I pray that your soul progress, not just your tasks, not just your endeavors, but I pray that your, your soul, it progresses upwardly. I pray that you progress upwardly and I just encourage you, put God first. Put them in the forefront of everything that you are doing. Raising your children, paying your bills, church, spirituality, um, mentally, physically, emotionally, relationally, economically, um, sociologically. I probably said that wrong. Whatever. Okay? Listen, it's 2023. Make the best of it. Don't go without God. That's the word. Don't go without God. Don't go without God. Don't go without God. Listen, I'm making light of it and I'm joking and I'm having fun and I'm playing. But some of us, we had to bump our head, trip and fall, get up, slip again, bump our head. This time, crack the shin of your knee, if that's the thing, to learn that lesson. Don't go without God. I love y'all. Peace.